Good morning and welcome back to Pikmin. We are here on day 10 at the Forest Naval. We've got four more parts to get. I don't think we'll be able to get all four today, but I think we can get at least two. Maybe three? Maybe three. We'll find out. All right, so to start things off, once again, let's pluck the dudes that we currently have planted. There we go. That was from that fiver that we dropped off earlier. We've done a lot of what we needed to do with the blue Pikmin. There are two parts coming down this way that will require a mixture of red, blue, and yellow Pikmin to actually acquire. And that's a pretty difficult one to take care of. There's also two over here, both of which I believe are boss fights, uh, interestingly enough. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to try for the boss fights. Actually, no, no, let's not try for the boss fights yet. Let's try for the puzzle, because that one's going to give me more trouble than the boss fights, honestly. So let's try for that one first. Uh, to do this, I'm going to withdraw 30 Pikmin of every color. And I'm going to have to be very careful about properly dismissing them and proper usage of them. But I think this should, I think this should be everything I need. All right, all right, cool. So to do this, first of all, we need to get back to that little pathway. We've already kind of unlocked it. There was a fiery blowhog over there. Uh, so I'm probably gonna wanna go ahead and just take him out before I get too far here. So let's dismiss everybody right here where it's still safe. We'll grab all my reds and let's kill this fiery blowhog. Try not to get thrown in the water in the process. Yeah, I want you to face this way. There we go. That's actually also a good way for you to be facing. Now I have had him throw people out of bounds before. And that was interesting. Um, it doesn't happen very often though. And usually if you, if you are able to call them, they'll just come right back. So it's not that big a deal, but it is kind of fun. It is kind of interesting when that happens. All right, now we'll call everybody else back. And we need to be very careful in what we're about to do here. Because A, we're right next to water, and that is dangerous. And B, we are going to be going through some fire. That is also dangerous. Ow. Okay, so from right here, what we wanna do, we need blue Pikmin up there. So right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dismiss everybody and we're going to set the red Pikmin to work on this wall and the yellow Pikmin to work on this wall. There we go. And we're gonna take our blue Pikmin with us. Very carefully take our blue Pikmin with us. There we go. Now, as soon as we get this part up, which I think we have enough dudes for, I hope we do. This computer, this is the analog computer. It computes a range of one and zeros. Actually, to be honest, it's a little bit too vague, so it's not very helpful. Please tell me we had enough. Yes, yes we do. Okay, cool. They're pretty lenient with these two pieces, but it can still be a little bit dangerous. All right. Now that we've done that, as you can see, we've got a red candy pop bulb up here. What the candy pop bulb will allow us to do is to convert these guys from blue to red. So how we do that is we just chuck these guys on in here. If we chuck enough in, it will just, I believe it's 10. Once you've thrown in 10, it'll automatically close. Yeah and it'll convert them into being red Pikmin. Now, I just realized I did a big, big, big dumb 
because I'm pretty sure I need blue Pikmin right there. I think that's actually worth a reset. This is going to be a problem. Uh, <laughs> I'll meet you back at this point. <laughs> okay, so we're back at the fiery path. Almost drowned my Pikmin, but that's okay. So we're just going to walk past this. We'll walk past this. Once again, we're going to dismiss everyone and get our red Pikmin and yellow Pikmin started on this wall. I'm going to... No, that's not what I want. I want these remaining yellow Pikmin. I swear to God, blue. Yellow. There we go. Is that all my yellows? Yes. Okay, cool. So now all I have left are blue Pikmin. So we're going to be very careful to not get ourselves burned. As we go across the fire vents. Okay, cool. So we'll grab this up. Yep, we've got the analog computer. Very good. We only need 20 blue Pikmin for this. And by that, I mean 20 Pikmin in general. So what we're gonna do is then pull you guys back, call you back. I'm, yeah, let's just set 20 of you to being red. I don't think I need many blue Pikmin for what I'm about to go do, but it will be helpful to have. Can I actually flip you though? Yeah, because it gives nectar. That was the actual reason why I wanted to flip him. Uh, because the nectar is handy. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna do two rounds of throwing these guys in. So I can get 20 red Pikmin out of this. And then those 20 red Pikmin are all going to get set on that part. And the rest of my dudes are going to come with me on the bridge. I want to be very careful here because if I accidentally throw anyone, they're going to go into the abyss. That would really suck. There we go. Okay, cool. I have absolutely also uh, plucked someone and had them fall directly onto the candy pop bulb before. I don't remember if that actually made them spawn or like counted as them falling into the pink candy pop bulb, but it is kind of funny. <laughs> Just watching it try and close. I don't know if it actually does or not. I don't remember. But uh, it can be pretty funny. There we go. All right. So you guys are going to carry that. Once again, red Pikmin are immune to fire. So it doesn't matter if they walk directly through a fire jet. It won't do anything to them. And I can actually just kind of walk around the edge here. I don't... Why are you guys randomly grabbing onto that? You're supposed to be on me, not grabbing onto that. There we go. Red Pikmin. You carry this. Blue Pikmin. Stay with me. No! What? What? Yeah, okay. You know what? You're dead. You're just gonna die, and that's... that's We're just gonna have to deal with that. All right. Yeah, this is why we needed blue Pikmin, because they are required to break this. So that Olimar can actually get up there. That is the only thing we needed the blue Pikmin here for, so we didn't need that many of them in the first place. Uh, Alright, now we're going to dismiss these guys, because I want specifically yellow Pikmin, because they're the only ones who I'm going to be able to throw up here. I'm going to accidentally grab some red Pikmin... I don't care that much, though. Except for the fact that now they're the only things I'm grabbing as I try and do this because of where they sat. I swear. This game. All right, fine. We'll come back across the bridge and try this again. 
Yellow Pikmin, come with me. I'm leaving a few of you behind, but whatever. I'm pretty sure this is another part that doesn't require too many dudes. I just needed to actually have the yellow Pikmin to throw up here. There we go. And now I can zip on up here. Yeah, I think this only requires like 10, 15 dudes. That guy just fell to his death. And I'm sorry about that. Because I just flung him off the world. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right, cool. But we found the Libra. My daughter gave this to me. It's named after her astrological sign. My sweet little girl. I wonder what she's doing right at this moment. I don't know. Probably being at home, not being lost in space on a foreign world where everything's trying to kill you. Okay, cool. Uh, so now I want to dis dismiss these guys and get just the red Pikmin on it because the red Pikmin don't care if they walk through fire. Yep, I just lost another Pikmin, probably due to the fire, if I had to guess. <laughs> oh well. Alright, and I've got as many Pikmin as I can get on this part, so no one else should be trying to join it. And now I just need to collect all of my little friends here, and walk through the fire without getting burned. Okay, okay, cool. So that will work, and there's the part. Yep, and the blue Pikmin definitely died. Kind of expected that, honestly. The analog computer. This strengthens the outward emotions of the dolphin's computer. While it does make the computer smart, it also makes it quick to anger, just like my boss. I've now recovered 15 of 30 parts. Yeah, we still gotta get almost all the rest of the parts in the game to be able to do anything. Okay, now I kind of want to set the blue Pikmin on this corpse, which it looks like they were kind of already on, just because I already got rid, I just got rid of a bunch of them. Guys, do you want to... Do you want to grab it? There you go. Okay, well, I've got 45 dudes. What can I do with them? I know there's going to be grubs in my path on the way. So there's still two, two things left to get. There's part there and a part there. I think there's gonna be grubs in my way on both of them, actually. I would actually like to throw this last blue Pikmin right there. He did not do what I wanted him to do. I want you to get on that and make it move a little bit faster. There you go. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, I could go get some more bomb rocks and blow up a couple of these other walls just to open up some op more optimal pathing. Uh, I, would, I do need to kill a few things on my way to these other treasures, so I will probably do that. My daughter gave this to me, my late, Return must have her very worried. I've now recovered 16 out of 30 parts. If I can find just 13 more, I should be able to increase the ship capabilities. Yeah. Okay, we did get a little bit of nectar, so that's always helpful. The day is more than halfway over at this point. So there's this area down over here that has some grubs I can kill, but there's nothing really to do down here. It's a kind of a weird area to exist because there's nothing to do down here. There's just this Wallywog and there's like no reason to be here, except I'm going to have to be because these guys are just going to get in the way. I just wanted to grab my one dude, made another You've made that discovery before, Olimar. That is not a new discovery. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, because way over there is a part. But in this little area, there's really nothing to do or see. There is a Wallywog. I think I'll kill him later. 
there's more grubs this way that I'm a little bit more concerned about right now. Yeah, I'm losing some dudes here. Once again, if you can hit these guys in the air, it's an insta-kill. So that's pretty handy. Go ahead and just grab all these bodies and take them back to the ship. All right, cool. Yep, and this way, honestly, both of these bosses do a little bit better with fire. There's an argument for using yellow Pikmin um, on one of the bosses, if I'm remembering what it is correctly, but eh. Oh, you guys are all going to the yellow? Why? I don't want you getting yellow. I want more red Pikmin, damn it. <laughs> oh, whatever. What are you doing? Come here. There we go. Well, I got exactly one dude flowered off of that, so that was kind of a waste, but oh well. Grab you guys back. Have you guys back. Alright. So let's just do a little bit of house cleaning. Put all of you guys away. Alright, we're over a hundred Pikmin now in reds. That's really good. We're at a little bit over 90 Pikmin after I pluck uh, these yellows in terms of yellow. So that's that's pretty good. We are definitely going to want to get more blue Pikmin. Um, they are very, very much needed in the next area. Not so much in the rest of this area, mind you, but in the next area, we will absolutely be needing more. Yeah, way more than 68. We're gonna need a lot more blue Pikmin than 68, but I can I can work with that. I can work with that. But I think that'll do it for that. I mean, obviously that'll do it for day. We're already in the countdown. We did get two parts, which is kind of what I was hoping for. Um, and we've hopefully cleared some of the enemies out of the way for getting the other two parts. Like I said, we're gonna have to do two boss fights to get those parts. There's an argument for using yellows on one of them just because they go higher. I think I prefer to still use reds though, uh, for both. So I'll probably be doing that. But obviously that's that's gonna be a day, what, 12? I don't remember what day we're on anymore. That's gonna be a next day problem. <laughs> Once again, leaving nobody behind. That's always the goal. We're almost done with this area. I definitely think we can get both of the remaining parts in the next episode. Honestly, we might, depending on how that goes, we might have some free time to just grab, to just bolster our forces a bit more. Which if we do, then I think I'm gonna wanna build up blues more than anything else, just going into the next area. Hope has begun to dwell within me for the dolphin's repair and my own chances for a reunion with my dear family. Tomorrow I shall go forth with a new attitude and continue my exploration on a different region. No, I won't. I hope that fortune will smile upon me. <laughs> Almar, you can't tell me what to do. I'm not going to a different region. Yeah, uh, so far we did lose a few more in battle today, mostly with those grubs right at the very end, but we sprouted quite a few new Pikmin. So overall we got some net gains especially in reds and yellows. Blues, we have a bit of a net loss uh, just because we converted 20 and we didn't hatch or sprout very many more. But we're still doing pretty good. We have 20 days remaining and only 14 parts remaining. So we're doing really solid there. But I think that will do it for day 10. In day 11, we will see about finishing off the forest navel. But I will see you guys there.